The HO scale Sierra Pacific lines of the Pasadena Model Railroad Club is immense. In fact, this is the largest operating model railroad in the United States. More important is the level of completeness and high degree of realistic operation achieved by the club. The railroad is housed in a 5,000 square foot former factory building. 30,000 feet of Code 100 steel rail have been laid on 500,000 custom-made cross ties and ballasted with ground walnut shells. This totals over 10,000 feet of hand-laid track. A train running at normal speed takes about one hour to travel the 1,750-foot long main line from Alhambra to Zion. During an operating session, it takes at least 27 people to operate the railroad, including a train master, two dispatchers, and 10 cab operators. It's not unusual to see a dozen trains active on the railroad at one time, with some of the trains being up to 60 cars in length. The Sierra Pacific Lines is not only big, they operate in a smooth and realistic manner. Many of the club's members have made large investments in well-built rolling stock and engines. Almost since its inception 50 years ago, the club has imposed strict standards of maintenance and performance on its members' equipment. This has resulted in a model railroad, which is virtually trouble-free in operation. Locomotives, both steam and diesel, complement the rolling stock, which represents the period from the late 1940s to the present. Many of the bridges and buildings on the layout are scratch-built. Today we are going to ride the rails of the Sierra Pacific Lines from Alhambra to Zion. We'll be joining the crew of the unit tank train as it makes its run to the port city of Zion. There the tank cars will be loaded with crude oil to be delivered to the inland refineries. The Alhambra engine terminal handles both steam and diesel. 
a large scratch-built roundhouse and a scale 144-foot turntable along with fueling facilities handles the needs of the steamers. A Southern Pacific Daylight GS4 is riding the turntable at the Alhambra engine terminal as two Rio Grande road units, both SD40T-2s assigned to today's tank train, thread their way through the servicing tracks. Clear of the engine ready tracks, the road power backs down to its caboose spotted on the tail track at the east end of Alhambra by a yard crew. Running through the 20-track Alhambra yard, the engines and caboose pass the busy path.